That is the only bait you'll ever need down here in these golf course ponds. Here we go, here we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on, guys. Fish on. First bass of the trip. Oh, yeah, 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 it's a good one. What is going on, Grumpaholics? LG in the house from South Florida. I am visiting mom this week, 94 years young. And uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on. Um, been fishing a bunch up in the panhandle. I've been catching a bunch of fish. I just haven't had time to sit down and make any videos. I wanted to do the fly tying video uh, on the redfish flies that I've been using and catch, uh, caught a fish on. I made one, it came out pretty crummy, so. Due to response from one of my viewers, Luis, <laughs> I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna redo it and make it a little more uh, user friendly for you guys. Um, I'll do a walkthrough and a tutorial, step by step instructions. Um, I kind of blew through it and I didn't realize the volume on it got kind of jacked up. I thought I had done a uh, an overlay of music on it, but it did not happen. So. Um, and then I didn't listen to it before I put it into production. <laughs> so we'll redo that and uh, make it a better production. I'll give you a couple of patterns that I've been using. Anyway, I'm going to be going mainly to the fly rod when I get back home in the panhandle. Uh, down here, I'll be throwing a little bit uh, for bass, which I did this morning. And when it was still dark, unfortunately, the video does not work when it's pitch black outside. But I did catch a nice bass this morning to kick things off right out here. My old stomping grounds. See that pond out there? I can get out there. I can sneak out there when the golfers are off course. But uh, that's what's going on. So um, I'll be putting together some pop action for you, but then uh, some fly tying, a couple of fly, two different patterns I want to put together for you. And I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on. I've been off the grid. I just got down here yesterday. Spent the day with mom today getting some chores done. And uh, yeah, hopefully get some bass fishing action while I'm down here as well. Maybe this evening I'll get out and see if I can get a couple. LG, the Grumpy Panhandle Fisherman, catching up with the listeners and the watchers. I'm out. All right, Grumpaholics. First morning in South Florida. I got my old Bass Pro bait caster. And uh, gonna get a little sneak in out here in the morning. They got this place lit up well now. It didn't used to be like this. It's kind of nice, actually. Anyway, down here visiting mom. And uh, these ponds on the golf course are full of bass, largemouth peacock. They're full of all kinds of weird stuff, too. They've done some work out here. Hopefully I don't run into any iguanas. Here we go, here we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on guys, fish on. First bass of the trip. Oh yeah, 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 it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. There we go. There we go. Grumpy Bassmaster edition. Oh yeah, nice largey. There we go.
All right, guys, here we go. I'll have to fight another day. All right, I just had a bite, guys. I just had, here we go, here we go. Ready? Let him eat. So here was what we want him to do. We want him to eat the worm, and we're going to let him swim with it. Right now he's swallowing, and then we're going to hit him. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Mr. Largemouth. And there he is. All right. Never fails. I don't have any hemostats, dude. You ate my. He ate the whole thing. Oh, maybe. Thank you, Mr. Bass. All right. Seven and a half inch culprit. Red Shad gets it done every time. That is the only bait you'll ever need down here in these golf course ponds. All right, I got another eat, guys. I got another eat. Got another eat. What do we got? Oh, nice little largey. Nice. Oh, we spit the hook. Thankfully. All right. Yes, sir. Red Shad, telling you. Getting it done as usual. What is up, Grumpaholics? I hope you enjoyed some bass fishing action from down here in South Florida, where I'm visiting mom right now. And uh, I just wanted to pass some info on to you guys and gals. Many of you may not know that years ago, I lived down here in 1972 to 1978 before I moved up to Tallahassee and I went to school up there, finished up my schooling. But when I was down here, I did a bunch of bass fishing and I also ran a little bass fishing program down in uh, North Miami, a little guide service from 1996 to 2000. And uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go over my go-to right now. If you wanna catch thousands of bass and you only wanna throw one lure, I'm gonna show you what that is right now how to get it done you're gonna start off with your favorite worm hook in this case I've got some wide super locks um, worm hooks XPS's from Bass Pro Shop and that's a size 2 uh, actually a size 1 knot so that's that's the hook I'm throwing there's a million different worm hooks they'll all work I, I use a bullet weight and these are worm weights and these are 3 16 of an ounce right there I like the 3 16 ounce um, because they can they give you a little distance when you're throwing with the bait caster now the most critical part of the setup are you ready this is all you will ever need to catch thousands of bass in South Florida and I'm talking about for kind of the layman fisherman guy that doesn't have a boat you just want to get out and walk around and fish some of the ponds and lakes in your area this is it guys I got two packages of them culprit this is the one the seven and a half inch shad red shad that is it right there seven and a half inch culprit worm in the red shad color that is all you will ever need to catch thousands of bass i actually just went and got a couple packages of them one's coming back with me to home in the panhandle and this one's going to stay here when i'm down here visiting so I, ran, I used up my last one last night. That is it. That's all you need. I'm going to show you how to rig it up. Super easy. Nothing to it. Larry G., the grumpy panhandle fisherman in South Florida. Here's the rig setup. All right. Here's your worm setup. Plastic worm, rubber worm. I've got uh, some 15-pound braid right here so you can see it. You can throw lighter if you want. If you want to put some monofilament leader on here, you can as well. You're going to take the end of your braid or your monofilament and you're going to put it through the pointy end of your bullet weight like so boom that's it that's on there now i don't have this attached to anything so behind the worm i am going to take my hook my worm hook right there oops i drop things a lot and you're just going to use a clinch knot, a fisherman's knot, to attach your braid. Um, I don't improve it. 
So your line's gonna go through the eye of the hook, and then we're gonna make, I like to make five twists, generally speaking. Pretty standard, folks. The most basic of all fishing knots, the clinch knot. So I have my five twists, like so. My tag end is gonna go through this loop that has been created at the eye of the hook. So that's gonna go through, if I can get this so you can see it. So back through the loop you created at the hook of the eye, or the eye of the hook, sorry. So that goes back through at the loop you created in the braid at the eye of the hook. Hold on your tag end and just cinch this down. That's it. And then you can clip this tag off as needed. I like to leave about um, an eighth of an inch on there. When I clip it off, I don't have a clipper with me. Then, so this is, this is now your setup. This is what we look like right here. You got your bullet weight and your worm hook. We're gonna take one of our culprit worms. Don't forget, seven and a half inch red shad is all you will ever need. That is it. Boom. We're gonna take the hook, the pointy end of the hook, we're gonna run it through the front of our red shad worm. And I'm gonna run it about a half inch back. I'm gonna poke that through. I'm gonna run this worm up the shank of the hook to the eye of the hook. And then I'm gonna feed some of this braid through there. So this is what you're looking at right now. And then we're gonna make this weedless. And all we're gonna do is take this, just push up your worm a little bit sink that hook into the body and boom you are set up weedless and let me get the there you go i am telling you gang that is all you will ever need to catch thousands of largemouth bass in south florida boom so that's it hopefully you enjoy that get out there and tie them up and throw some because uh the way to work them um most days 90 percent of the days i'm fishing cast them out let them sink to the bottom bump it let it sink real bump it let it sink real and if you get a fish eat it it's a pretty big bait so if a bass eats this he may have grabbed the tail you'll let him swim and you'll see your line moving let the fish take the worm and swim for five to ten seconds sometimes typically when the fish stops swimming, he's swallowing that worm, and that's when you set the hook. That's it, guys. It's easy. One bait. That's all you need right there to catch thousands of bass in South Florida. Larry G., the Grumpy Panhandle Fisherman. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on what you need to catch all the bass you'll ever want to catch in South Florida. I'm out. Go get yourself some.